Viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again on the platform that tells you undiluted truth. Whether you like it or not, we will continue dishing out this truth without compromise. I said the other time that Alex Oti had woken up Soludo and some people came after me. But I must tell you, the truth of the matter continues to boil down on the fact that my commitment is to see the even politicians to start with compete with each other for good governance having said that i want to also draw your attention to the trending video of what happened in anambra state where soludo had to caution and also threaten to sack anyone who is undermining his plan from the anambra state this being built here. you started you come and bulldoze it down if I come here again and I see any of these rubbish, I'll smack you publicly. I'm confident. They began this way. They began it and you are watching it going on and you didn't bring it down. Where is the walkway? Come and show me the walkway. Come and show me. Bring it down. It's public and it's going on. Look at this. 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 Coming out on the road. Who changed it? Who changed this? This is not here. This is supposed to be there. So Don't say, okay, you tell me the person, tell me the officer, and I'll kick him out. Let me tell you, oh, 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 we must regenerate. Oh. This chaos must end. See, all these shops, all these shanty shops along this road that is attached to the wall, this fence, the fence must go back and you have at least one meter where people can walk. No, 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 that's you stopped, but it's gone on and you've done nothing. But I stopped. I and I'm just telling you, pull this thing down tomorrow. Friday, today, tomorrow is a Friday, Thursday. By tomorrow, this wall must be off, and they must go at least one meter up there. And they get me the paper who approved it, and I'll sack that person tomorrow. Get me whoever, if anybody approved this, that person is leaving my government tomorrow. Okay? Let them get me who, who, who approved this thing to be done this way. And I will dismiss that person tomorrow. Get me the paper. Good. This has been the problem we are having in this part of the world. Confusion. People who are incompetent. I don't know what office that demand is occupying, whether he's a local government chairman or the market chairman or whatever. But I can tell you that this system of just doing things anyhow must stop. And it is because Soludo was on ground. He saw it for himself and said, no, this falls below my own standard. And that is because there is higher expectation from him. That is because people like us is making sure that the government of the day is put on their toes and ensure they deliver those promises they made to the people during their campaign and the man is not leaving any stone unturned and that is our own benefit the public interest come to think about it the road constructed without walkways without walkways and i come to think of it as well the roads that we see without cover the drainage without cover that will also transform to become another manage but i just hope that the governor will you know do something about it that well, as they're constructing roads they should put a slab on the drainage system and also use same probably as a walkway that is by the way now down to what happened in coca where you have government after the heart of the people take a look <laughs> Same 
And that is why they are even happy. When government say remove these structures, this thing is not is even threatening your life because trading on the roads is has resulted to fatal accidents, claiming many lives. The first thing, the the, 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 the the beauty of the city. And when they are being asked to move, many of them will stand gidiba. They will not move until government comes with demolition, just like what we witnessed just yesterday or thereabout. At Biafra Market. That's Biafra Market. One uh, abonne in on Ozo, abonne in along the road, Biafra Market. All the containers are sitting in the road. The governor has demolished all of them. So if you have shop in the road, rush now, rush now, rush now. All the shops are de demolished. As you can see, this is Biafra Market. They are from markets. They are from markets. They are from markets. They are from markets. Governor, they will pay you. I don't even want to shop on a green thing. Huh? Can we go out of the house? So, governor, let the streets, man. Let the streets. Governor, let the streets. They are from markets. How do you go to a garden? Can we buy food? How do you go to a garden? I don't need to be rich. So one night. You see that? Some people will start shouting, oh, they are demolishing markets, so as they are demolishing in, uh, in Lagos, they are doing the same in the southeast. Let me tell you, our homeland is not a place of confusion. We are lawlessness, abide and abound. No! And that is why you need governor like Soludo or some people like that has this decisive decision to make and implement it and enforce it so that... Can you imagine at the riverbank you are building shopping because everywhere must be market. To you, everywhere must be market. Even our forefathers during their own time. You don't just start constructing anything anywhere. They set out a place to do their trading and have a place they call their, their residential areas. 
But today, everywhere is just mopped up with confusion. Everywhere you see, you build anything. Let me tell you, there is something I will say here. Many of you will find it offensive, but that is the truth. Since this market has gone into the hands of some people, especially from a bunny state, I must say it. Go and check it very well. In Anambra State particularly, you may get offended, but that is the truth. Since they took over the merchandise of trading in Anambra State, everywhere can just you can just as long as you have the money, because money now is in the hands of India Bunny State in Anambra State. So they can just be constructing anything. There must be law and order. I'm not singling out Ndi Ebony State, but the same is also applicable to the rest of us in Igbo land. Wherever you find yourself, there must be sanity, and that is what we preach. In as much as government must be done, we must be doing their own. We, as people of the of the land, must also be doing our own part because it's a collective responsibility. Good governance is not just about the politicians and power; it's also about the mentality or the attitude of the people. That is what we preach on this platform. Whether you like it or not, I will continue saying this truth. Whether it bites you hard, you change for a better, so that we have a better society we call our own. If you believe in this message and you like it, please click on the like button and help us to share it. We are not here to presing anybody. We are here to ensure that our homeland works for every one of us. And that is my position. Like it or hate it, we will continue on this mission. Until... We have our homeland that we can be proud of. I'm also Jonathan Peters, the advocate for good governance and the Archbishop of GGM. Bye-bye for now.